All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a scout report on Taco Charlton, the defensive end coming out of Michigan. Actually had a great, great season in 2016, earning first team all Big Ten honors. Now he's actually hailing from Columbus, Ohio, and he really didn't get the full starting job until 2016. Now he actually had um, 13 um, tackles for loss to go along with eight and a half sacks. Actually, actually increased his um, productivity during his career and as a Wolverine. From each year, he actually increased in tackles for loss and sacks, which is a great trait for this player to have. Because of the mere fact that he showed that he become he can become an even better player as time progresses, which is a great thing. You want your player to get better each day, and he has definitely proved that, which is a great strength for him to have. Other strengths that he does have is that he does have a freaking size at six foot six, two 277 pounds, with the length to go from sideline to sideline, which I do like about him because of his size. He could definitely be a good support and run support. I think he registered 61 tackles this past season as well. Now, other things that I do like about him is that he does have good availability with his hips, making the transition from left to right, he keeps his head well on a swivel, and he definitely has a good vision in spotting the football and where the ball carrier is. Now, one of the biggest weaknesses that he has is his speed. He runs a 49240, which he did perform at the scouting combine, which is not too good. It's not what I'm looking at the defensive end to have. Had he run like a 47 at least, he could possibly be a top 15 pick for this year's draft. Now, earlier in this um pre-draft season, I've seen a lot of people actually had him as a first round selection that which made me study him a lot more. Now he did have some good productivity this past season, but I'm a little bit concerned. He didn't have the big eye popping numbers that I'm looking for. Now for me in particular, I'm a stat type of guy. I look at the numbers overall. I look at results, not too much as far as your individual workout and how well you perform in the gym because playing in the field is totally different than your personal workouts in the off season. Now, even though I still take a look at your 40 time and your bench press reps and your shuttle time, all those workouts are a factor in selecting a player for this year's draft. But the biggest factor for me is your productivity. He did have a strong productive season. Now, I do like this kid a lot, but that speed is the, one of the biggest concerns for me because he, can, even though he can um, visualize the football, but sometimes he has a hard time getting from sideline to sideline because of his speed, even though he has the length to get from sideline to sideline. Line, which I do like about him. Now, another thing I did, I forgot to mention, um, is that he, sometimes he could be have a hard time when he has to play in the trenches and playing either inside or in the five technique. Coaches, coaches at Michigan actually had a hard time making the um, decision on where to put him, particularly as the uh, when games got challenging for him as far as answering the fourth quarter. But I think the team will be just fine. Will definitely select him and correct things. They, things for him at the next level the biggest thing for me is the speed and i don't really think it's going to be too hard i think he could possibly lose at most seven pounds but then if he increases his speed he could be a strong physical caliber a great pro bowl type player at the next level in the national football league now overall for me i did see a lot of people put him in the first round but i actually see him as a late second round really at worst an early third round pick for this year's draft, and that's my projection. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.